Hi guys, this is Chujin. Um, so actually, yesterday my mentor was it yesterday or today in the morning? I think it was yesterday last night. Um, I'm looking at the threads that my mentor constantly uploads. Um, uh, like here and there, some thoughts that he had that day. And um, one thing that stood out to me was the people with low standards. They use their energy time and money avoiding the problems and the people who have high standards they use their time money and energy solving the problems and that's so you would have to be honest with yourself and that's just so um true like all the people that i see around me I feel like they're avoiding the problems. They they just settling with things, um, and that's why they're okay working there. <laughs> I mean, they may have different standards. If you say it like that, it's not gonna go anywhere. People with low standards, they will use time and money and energy avoiding the problems they don't even know they don't even realize that they have problems and that that's the problem because they just think that that's the life that's how the life works that's how the social interactions are and that's how the work is blah 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 they don't even realize that that's a problem that they can they should solve they just don't see it beyond that but people with high standards they will realize and recognize a problem and they want to solve it they will use their time money and energy to solve the problems this is not the life i want this is not the way it should be and i want to solve the problem then what do i have to do with it and then they will find a mentor they will find a guide and they will look for those solutions and they will figure it out um while they're searching for a mentor, while they're searching for different ways, they will find something on the way. Where there's no benefit, there is a benefit. So if you're watching my video, be the person who um, recognizes the problem and who realizes that something is wrong, then find a solution. Um, as hard as you can and like I said when there is no benefit there is benefit so you will find something on the way um, but that's because you put effort in finding the solution to your problem that you just realized um, yeah so that's that's just really stood out to me that just really touched me touched me um, And I just, again, tell myself that I shouldn't be that some, somebody who avoids a problem and be okay with most everything because that's not the type of life that I want. And I know that there's got to be better things. Like if I put, honestly, a lot of effort in something, then I want the reward and I want the recognition. And I really want to impact somebody and help them, truly help them change their lives in positive ways than just spending time with it, with them and just going through the time. That's something that I've learned working with the children, 18 children, 16 children, 17 children, 15 children. Um, I've been working with them and I just cannot have an impact on any of them. I just literally just spend, spend time with them. But if you really want to help somebody, then you have to focus on that person or a few, one or two people max, right? Like you just cannot do it. Like you just cannot help somebody change their lives and be 
impactful to them. If you're dealing with if you're dealing with so many people. That's how I feel with the children. Like I just cannot I don't I know that they go home and they will the parents will have the most impact on them, right? No matter what I say at the school, it's going to goes back to the zero. Like they come to school and it will be zero. And then parents is does do don't even push them to the limit where they should change. Why would they listen to me? You know what I mean? Like it's endless like Even with the children, there's those things that I recognize is just not going to change. But even if they're children, it's the same rule. Like if with adults, like it's the same rule. If you want to be impactful to somebody, then you have to focus on them. You cannot focus on so many people. It's just impossible. One thing, remember? So anyways, I get a little tangent here and there. But my point is, um, if you want to, I don't know, be the person who has high standards, um, do spend your time, money, and energy um, to solve the problem and realize and recognize the problem and that there's got to be something better in life that you can change your life. If you're not happy with the life that you have, you can change your life in the way that you want. You just need to keep searching for it. You just keep to, you just need to keep finding that one person who can help you and guide you. And once you found once you found that person, then you have to learn. Do spend time, money, and energy from him or her. Um, don't be that person who has low standards and always try to avoid the problems and spend your money, time, and energy avoiding the problems. You know, like, in order for you to be stuck at the job that you don't like, um, kiss as the boss or you be okay with everything that he says, even though in the mind you're angry at him. That's not the type of life that you want, right? That's That's like avoiding the problem. If you hate it, then you have to get out of there. If you think that there's a problem that's not fair, then you think about it. Why it's not fair and, you know, all that. For me, because I have to be with this job until... Because I'm in the process of getting sponsored for my green card. So I have to wait until I get out of here. But trust me, all this time, four years, I have been working there. Even now, in the future, until I leave here, I do my best. Like, I, I have been doing my best. I do my best. I'm sure nobody talks about it. Nobody thinks about it. But they all know. Whoever working with me. <laughs> and all the past teachers who gone through this school. Even the director, she would know. She won't say it. She won't admit it. Because she will just she will just not do that, you know what I mean? Anyways, um yeah. I have a reason to stay here, which is my green card, and that's important because I have to survive here. But um if you're in a better situation than me, like you don't have to hold on to somebody, then you think about the solutions why you why you hate the job why you hate the way it is right now in whatever situation circumstances you are in and what's the solution for it just be okay with everything even though you're not okay in, inside emotions turmoil going on and is that it? Is that how it's supposed to be? Or you find a solution to it. It's all up to you. Um, just don't give up. Just know that there's a lot of people who didn't give up and they found they found their solutions and they changed their lives. There are many people like that. They're just not visible. They're not they're always secretive. Um 
because they're in their own word, you know, they're just not easily found. So, but just know that there's different word than the word that, that you're in probably that's not satisfying to you and keep looking for that sacred and sacred group and you'll be happier that way like how I am right now um even though my life is miserable right now I'm happier because I have my uh, I have my mentor and and uh he gives me hope that I I can change my life and I can dream of different life and I can really do that as long as I have the willingness to act on it act on my life to change it for the better so that's what I want to share with you in this video don't give up and um, be that person with high standards don't be that person who avoids problems be that person who finds solutions yeah and spend their time and energy and effort finding the solutions yeah okay thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you tomorrow bye now peace out